space station operations with a six billion dollar increase in spending for things like biomedical research and harnessing robotic tools for human use. But the president has also said he wants to end the Constellation program started by President George W. Bush to send Americans back to the moon. Former astronaut Buzz Aldrin, the second human being to set foot on the surface of the moon, is a supporter of the president's policies on space. Mr. Aldrin joins us live from Burbank. Mr. Aldrin, what do you make of the uh, decision not to go back to the moon? Well, if you remember a campaign pledge of that change, <clears throat> I can't think of any more drastic change from uh, what was set in motion uh, because of the Columbia accident on February 3rd, 03. Uh, it, it may have appeared at that time to be a good switch in transition from shuttle and station back to exploration, but the method by which it was implemented uh, as a result of a uh, recommendation of the Accident Board of Columbia, which said separate crew and cargo on the launch vehicle. That opened the door for the development of two launch vehicles, one for the crew and, and one for the lander, and that is what caused the problem with Constellation and well, the realization the that, that going back... What about the argument, though, that going really back to the moon... What about the argument that there's it's nothing not left to really be learned to about? Well, what about the argument there's nothing really left to be learned about going back to the moon? Do you do you agree with that? No, no. There are a lot of people that that think there are many things to be done back on the moon, uh, and we. Uh, internationally have the most experience from 40 years ago and the last four or five years to head up an international lunar development corporation uh, to develop the methods of developing the moon not exploring we did that we don't need to do that again and open up a competition where we have everything to lose and the Chinese and Indians have everything to gain we should help them with our our experience and our robotic missions that can be controlled at the one and a half second uh, time delay between Earth and the Moon. Uh, we can do an awful lot with robotics and and uh, make this a transition period, saving the money that unfortunately uh, five years and about nine billion dollars have been uh, put into uh, Constellation uh, and the workforce uh, with a a very abrupt stop of uh, uh, the shuttle without some follow-on of a shuttle-derived launch vehicle is going to be quite Buzz, a problem. What about, what about the whole issue? And you, recognize, you recognize that there are priorities that have, have decisions that have to be made. And the Obama administration is clear and said, look, going to the moon, developing the moon, as you suggest, this should not be one of our priorities. Our priority should be on the biomedical research, on the robotic uh, technology that will be developed. What's wrong with that? Well, I would phrase it the other way. The leadership of U.S. in space should not be directed at the moon and humans going there, but she should be directed at Mars and the step-by-step -step ways of becoming capable of going to Mars and establishing Mars settlements. And that opens the door for a two-phase program. One of them, the first phase, about 10 years, which would take us to the 50th anniversary, of the lunar landing and then a reaffirmation of what the first phase is headed toward which is Mars settlement. We need a 25 year two phase program toward Mars settlement. We can change the direction after 10 years but we need to have a focus for what it is we're replacing Constellation and uh, NASA American humans back to the moon which is well, not clearly the, the focus now is we and, uh, the focus now is on the space station and, of course, going from there. But in any case, uh, Buzz Aldrin, the second human being to actually set foot on the moon. Buzz, thanks so much for joining us today. You bet. Glad to help you out. Sure.